coral, you know, it's an animal, it can create structures that we can see from space. I mean, think about that. that that's so cool. A coral is basically an upside down jellyfish that grows a skeleton. Coral reefs touch people in their daily lives and they don't even realize. They are part of the ocean ecosystem that are the lungs of the planet. So it's kind of like the trees in a rainforest, where if you lose the trees in the rainforest, you lose all the other animals as well. The same is true for coral reefs. Having seven million people living a couple hundred yards from a reef tract just has such a huge impact. From the chemicals that are washed off the roadways and the sewage breaks, it's a death by a thousand cuts. It has to have an effect on just the ecosystem as a whole. The Florida's coral reefs were already struggling. And then stony coral tissue loss disease was detected in 2014 off the coast of Miami. Coral can die in a matter of a month, and that took hundreds of years to grow. How do we rescue these corals? What do we do? We need to rescue them. Let's get in front of the disease and let's rescue these genetics, bring them into these Noah's Ark ideas. There are zoos and aquariums in the middle of the country holding rescued corals from off the coast of Florida. Our big audacious vision is that we save the ocean. That's just what we want to do. Nature can come back, and nature is resilient.